Hey, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to be looking for the mandibular nerve canal on the patient's right hand side. So to start off with, we have our um, CT scan and we, we have the model um, which is rendered on the right hand side. Now to do this we need to do two things. We need to go to the all modules and we need to click on the reformat module. And this will pop up. And these are the slices. Next thing that we need to do is on this crosshair section, we need to check the slice intersection. This will give us the slice slices, the angle of the slices currently. On the left hand side, we've got red, yellow, and green. Now we can shift these slices accordingly with the slider, and you can see them move. For now, we're going to be using a different method of moving the slices. So the red one I'm going to leave for now and we're going to skip to the yellow slice. And then we're going to click on the eye icon. We can then see where the slice is in the 3D viewport. Next, I'm going to click on the reformat widget. This, this gives me um, an opportunity to move the slice simply by dragging on the little arrow key. As soon as you go near near the arrow with your mouse, it highlights. Just left click on it, keep your finger on the, on the left mouse button, and then just simply move it. And you can see it move in the, in the slices, in the wet slice above. So once we've got it more or less <coughs> parallel, I'm going to be using the slider just to move it across. And here we've, we can then um, just move it a little bit more so that we can get a clear view of the uh, mandibular nerve canal. Left click by holding the left mouse button down and sliding it, we can adjust the um, contrast of the, um, of the slide. And um, then we're going to go and move onto the green slice. So we're going to uncheck the eye on the yellow. We're going to go onto the green slice, check the eye, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on the reformat widget. Now we've still got the yellow one outlined. We can uncheck the yellow one as well, just so that it doesn't get so confusing. So we're going to click on the green, and then with the, um, with the arrow, um, when you approach it, and then left, left click, hold the left mouse button down and move your mouse. And then as soon as it gets to a perpendicular um, um, angle, um, that's what we're trying to, to achieve, to get each and every slice perpendicular. The red one we can move as well. We can go to the, the red and then um, we can even move the slice up a bit, something like this. Now we've got a good cross-sectional view of the nerve canal and um, this will allow us also to measure the bone um, availability for placing an implant. I'm going to be moving one more time up to the crosshair section and I'm going to be choosing a small basic crosshair. You will see that we've got a little crosshair on the screen and when I click down the shift key on the keyboard and move the mouse it allows me to um, navigate through each and every slice. Um, the other thing is when we use the mouse wheel we can then um, zoom through each and every slice and um, get a good cross-sectional view of this, the um, slides. Thank you for watching this video.